Thailand's constitutional court has found the Future Forward Party not guilty of conspiring to overthrow the monarchy earlier today. However, the leader of the party, Thanathon, remains disqualified from his parliamentary seat and facing other legal cases. Now, for more on this, we're going to speak to Professor Tinithan Pong Sudirak. He's Professor of Political Science from the Institute of Security and International Studies. Good evening, Professor. Are you surprised with the court's ruling? Why or why not? Actually, I'm not surprised uh, because the, uh, the court, I think, if they had dissolved Future Forward based on this, uh, this charge, uh, it would have been problematic. First, it would involve the monarchy as a basis of uh, dissolving a political party and, dis and disenfranchising a lot of people. Second, I think if it's uh, something against the monarchy, uh, another action or something would have been uh, acted upon sooner uh, before all of this. And if uh, the dissolution took place, it would have lacked credibility because there's been no trial, no testimony. So I think that uh, this is a, a kind of a exoneration, paving the way, soft, softening the ground for the next charges. And one of those charges most likely will dissolve the future forward party. All right, before we get to those, but to the Thai public, what does the court's decision actually mean, though? Well, you know, we have been here before. We, we've had a, a number of... Uh, party dissolutions over the last two decades. So today it was a bit of a, uh, on the one hand, you know, the brinkmanship and we uh, kind of tune into the media, the TV and the news and the court again, uh, whether another party will be dissolved. It so happens that this party is, uh, stands against the government, the coalition government, the military. And so it's going the same direction as before. Uh, somewhat uh, people are kind of accustomed to it, but at the same time, I think that's something maybe happening, maybe changing a little bit, because I think we, we have a learning curve. Uh, so this Future Forward Party is the party that we used to have uh, that stood against the establishment maybe, you know, 15 years ago. Uh, and now the Future Forward also, they're not, they're not backing down, they're not uh, budging and they're not leaving the country. They want to fight back. So if they're dissolved down the road, uh, they will join a new party. And the leaders now, you know, with uh, parliamentary avenues shut off, uh, they'll probably go into the streets and undertake uh, their political activism elsewhere in social media, in other provinces, up country. So this is a different kind of uh, protest movement uh, against established centers of power uh, that, we've, that we saw earlier. So the Future Forward Party are not backing down, and clearly they have had quite a bit of impact since it, the party was formed two years ago. How do you think that the supporters of Mr. Tanathorn and even Prime Minister Prayut chan -o -cha would react to this ruling? Well, the Prime Minister heading the coalition government and the pro-military party, um, they are on the same side, it, it appears, with the other agencies like the Constitutional Court, the Election Commission, the Anti-Corruption Commission, it seems that they're going the same direction. For the um, Future Forward supporters, um, you know, if, if their party is dissolved, uh, they will feel disenfranchised. This is a party that six, more than 6.3 million people voted for. It's the third largest winning party. It's phenomenal performance because it's never been in politics before. They had no established MPs, uh, no um, you know, organization whatsoever. Uh, very organic, coming from, out from nowhere to win so many seats, 82 initially. So to dissolve this party is really a big deal in Thai politics. On the other hand, the, the, their opponents in the uh, conservative establishment, uh, they've been doing this time and again. And this time they're doing it again because the future forward is a clear and present danger, a threat to them, a challenge to them, because uh, everything that future forward stands for is a new kind of Thailand that the conservative elites are unwilling to recognize and accept. Um, Professor, this is a very short, brief win for Future Forward Party, but you, you mentioned that they, they face some other challenges. What are some of the challenges that they face and that they're going to have to overcome in the future? Well, it's not even a win today. I mean, you know, this is, a, uh, as uh, many people have noted, and even the judges have said, there's no grounds uh, for this case even to have been launched, and, uh, you know, we should not have had this today. Uh, Future Forward now faces uh, more than 20 other allegations and charges. Uh, so they're in big uh, trouble because whatever they do, uh, it seems like it's going to be wrong, and it seems like the, the, the dissolution of the party seems like a foregone conclusion. Uh, the writing is on the wall. Their days are numbered. It's going to happen. Um, so they will try to fight back, but I think uh, uh, their, their future is bleak as a political party. 
as a political movement, I think their support base is going to widen. This will embolden a lot of their supporters to even uh, become more active, uh, become more supportive of the party and trying to kind of fight back. So, you know, we're going to see a lot of tension uh, in Thailand over the next uh, year, couple of years at least. All right. Well, thanks very much for sharing us with your insights. I'm Professor Titinan Song Sudirat, Professor of Political Science from the Institute of Security and International Studies.